What's up guys? Today we're going to take the relay panel we made in the previous video and wire it into the Holly Terminator as well as I'm going to show you some things I've been working on off camera. So the other day I made this uh, switch panel that mounts just below my radio so I have four buttons that I can use uh, to trigger the relays we made on that board and I'm going to show it working here with just using a Milwaukee uh, M12 battery. So these all light up when they're on and then this is a phone charger um, and it has a voltmeter in it too that you can turn on and it still shows when you close the door. I also installed these Motion Race Works uh, buttons and brackets onto my steering wheel. These are pretty pricey, but I initially for my trans brake was just using this momentary button off of Amazon, and it started to give out, and I really didn't want to have that problem again. Um, these are nice because you do get the coiled cord, and then we will also be wiring these into the Holly uh, in this video for the trans brake and bump feature. Another thing I did was install an OPT7 underglow kit. Uh, looks like this. I'd have the front, both sides, and the back. Um, these ones come in metal channels, so they're a lot nicer than the 3M like double-sided stuff. Um, I'll put a pick up after this clip uh, showing what it looks like at night. Okay, so now that you're all caught up on what I've been up to, we're going to go ahead and start on the first part of this mission. We're going to go ahead and get all this rat's nest of wiring out of here that we don't need anymore so we can make room to make our nice clean wires and not have to chase them around and figure out where they go. Okay, so I got all the uh, wires for those relays pulled out. Um, these two are going to stay. These two are to the button that my starter runs off. This is a factory relay. I just kind of put these wires in there myself. Um, the only ones we're leaving is the battery power from the trunk. This is the main power wire for the starter, and then this is the one for the Holly um, Terminator. This is the one that runs your fuel pump and your injectors. So all that's done. We pulled probably 14 feet of wire out of the car, and I mean, just the fuel pump wire alone was massive. We had this uh, oddball octopus thing going on. Probably shouldn't have been like that, so it's better we're doing this anyway. Michigan decided that... Uh, it's been a little too warm recently and not snowy enough, so it went ahead and gave us a snowstorm. Um, it's still snowing currently, so definitely a good day to just spend in the garage working on the car. I realized after that last clip that uh, this one didn't have any heat shrink on it, and this one was electrical taped. So I went ahead and put some heat shrink on those. It's really a good idea to heat shrink anything that you have in the engine bay so that it doesn't uh, corrode the wires. Now that we have all the old wiring out of the way, we're going to go ahead and make a couple changes here to this relay panel. So anything controlled by the Holly is going to be a negative um, trigger, which means we need to change some of the trigger wires here to the positive side. So our cooling fan and our boost solenoid are going to get changed from a positive trigger to a negative trigger, which means we're going to take the trigger wire, actually put it on positive, and take the ground wire and switch it over to here so that when the Holly triggers it, power is already there and it flows out of the connector. And then over here we have question mark on this one. Uh, like I said in my previous video, it was made with uh, the intent that if I wanted to add something else later on, I could. Uh, I couldn't help myself when I was buying stuff on Amazon and bought something I'm going to show in a later video, so we're going to wire that up as well. Okay, so we got these two relays over here switched over to a negative trigger, and we're going to leave this one, uh, this spare one, just as a positive. I also went ahead and wired the third relay in here because uh, the other one's going to be for something else. I put this on its own connector because this uh, the fuel pump wires run to the back of the car and everything else is going to be running up front in this connector so it just separates it. I also left it longer than the other one um, so that I can put them both through the same hole in the delete panel without um, trying to fight which connector goes in at the same time or what. So I got the panel all mounted here and short of the power and ground wire I'm going to run at the end this is exactly what it's going to look like because all of the wiring uh, for the outputs and stuff is going to be run under the carpet. And then as far as servicing goes, if you just lift it up, all the connectors are right here. So you can just unplug them and either take out the panel or you can just take out the whole thing. Um, so I really like how this turned out. So I got all my wires laid out here that are going to go to and from the relay panel. And I have the highly input and output harness that I'll be wiring as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch the boost solenoid relay back to a positive trigger. I don't know what I was thinking. I want the Holly to control the negative side of it. Um, I want to control the positive side of it with a switch. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I got all the wires wrapped in this loom and to the connectors they go to outside of the fuel pump and trans brake, which I'm going to do inside the car. Um, these are still loose and not braided because they're actually going to go into the Holly power harness from the battery. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start getting these run through the car. So I have all the wires routed, so all the connectors are under here. I still need to run the trans brake wire and wire these two into the switch panel. The two powers do run out to the engine bay already. 
Um, and here I need to do the same thing. I need to wire the grounds into the Holly um, input and output harness. But I think I'm going to pull that harness uh, back through the car instead of being out in the engine bay. So, okay, I finished getting the driver's side all wired up. So this is the um, connector that goes to the relay panel. And it's going to run down under here through the carpet. And that's going to get hidden behind this kick panel. But I have my uh, battery power wire and then the two output wires from the relays on this side. And the two trigger wires are in a connector, and that connector runs those wires to the radio, right over here by the radio where the buttons are going to go. And then out in the engine bay, those two power wires come out, and I can just trim them to size. So I went ahead and got all that wiring hidden under these kick panels. It all looks factory. It looks really nice, so I'm really happy with that. I moved on to wiring the shifter, um, but it was giving me a lot of issues. Um, I'd been eyeing the shifter for a while, so I ended up picking it up instead of dealing with the other one. Um... I wanted to be uh, spoiled a little bit, and what I wanted is I wanted to have a reverse switch, so when switched in reverse, the trans brake would be applied and the reverse lights would come on um, without having to hold a button to back up or anything like that. And then once out of reverse, I wanted the trans brake to have no power until one of the switches from the switch panel was on and the holly grounded it. Um, so I went ahead and wired this one up and uh, it has a reverse switch already in it so now when it's in reverse the trans brake is enabled and the lights come on i also got a new heater and this one is a convection style versus the forced fan one i had um, this one the fan was starting to die so it wasn't putting out like as much heat and it was super loud so i'd have to turn it off to record videos so this is like a huge game changer for me okay so finishing everything up on the driver's side here so i can move on to wiring everything into the holly um, i went ahead and put a new start button in the one I was using previously was the same one that uh, failed me for my trans brake, so I didn't want to have that in there anymore. This one fits the hole a little bit better and looks better, so I went with this. And then as far as the steering wheel buttons, uh, I couldn't, like, I didn't want the dangling cords just everywhere, like, smacking against my turnstock and everything when I was trying to drive on the street. So what I did was, is I uh, terminated both of the buttons with weather pack connectors. So when I'm driving on the street, I can just have this, you know, like, rubber banded down so where nobody can see it. And then if I go to the drag strip and get ready to race, I can just pull the cords here out from under the uh, display and use them. And then if not, I can just tuck them back away. Okay, starting to wire the holly here. I'm going to be using um, four inputs and three outputs. So for inputs, I have um, the red wire, which is my, one of my buttons, and the green wire, which is the other one of my buttons. These are both going to be um, staging controls. Then I have um, a flex sensor in the engine bay that I need to run down. And I'm going to use um, the sloppy mechanic style uh, dome map sensor um, instead of buying a dome sensor. So I have to run that wire as well. And then for outputs, I'll have the trans brake that runs to that solid state relay on my relay panel. The cooling fan. And then an output wire for the boost solenoid. If you're wondering what to do for your flex sensor, um, Sloppy Mechanics makes a plug and play deal for the Holly Power Tap that gives you the one wire for the alternator and then the flex sensor. And he even puts a butt connector on the end that you connect into the Holly. So super um, simple and very worth the money. So I went ahead and got the boost solenoid output, the flex sensor input, and the dome map input um, all ran through the grommet. And here I just got to heat shrink them. And then the four wires that I need um, that go in the car still for inputs and outputs, I just uh, put in this braided loom. So I'm going to heat shrink these and get this all shoved back and then work on everything in the car. I also have the power tap harness here um, shoved through the grommet. And then the wires that go out, I'm going to um, tie into another piece of braided cable I have uh, already ran for my turn signals. I got everything uh, ran through the grommet here, all tied up and where it should be. Um, and then I have the wires for the boost solenoid running out here. I just have to trim them to size and the wire for the cooling fan as well and now i'm going to move on inside the car so to mount the terminator x into the mustang uh, the way i did it is i took the factory ecu bracket and i drilled the holes out a little bit and i cut a piece of metal plate here uh, it's pretty thick so it's kind of rigid and i used this like a um, rubber plumbing stuff in between it so that it would uh, help absorb the vibrations of the car and then this just bolts in where the factory one did i got everything in the car wired in so these two are from the holly harness this is the power from the holly harness, and this is the fuel pump wire, um, the fuse for that. And then this goes to the switch panel. This one goes to my turn signals, and then all of my inputs and outputs are right here. Um, and then this is just some of the Ford factory wiring that has to stay so I can keep my power windows and stuff. Um, so I can't really get rid of all the rat's nest in here, but this is a lot better than it was, and I uh, added everything I wanted to. So I got all that wiring hidden under this kick panel. I just got to grab a push pin to push this back a little bit. But everything else is tucked under, everything's installed back, and I've 
completely finished the panel so this is the finished product of what it looks like and i'll show you guys what the trunk looks like all the wiring in the trunk is ran down here and then ran into a um, fire safe uh, battery box so really happy with how this uh, turned out everything looks really clean in here and um isn't uh, as bulky or as cluttered as it was before uh, that's gonna end off this video so if you guys could uh, like and subscribe i would appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next one